Welcome again, everyone. I'm excited to be teaching you this way. Let's take a moment and let's review very quickly. Let's go back to my whiteboard. And I wanna remind you that today we are studying the O copy. So my sound for this letter O, it's the O with a short straight line over the top. My sound is O, O, O. Let's look at him one more time. So he is OBO copy and his sound is O, O, O. Very good, very easy. O says O, O says O. Every letter makes a sound and O says O. So let's go now to our word building pace. So we're looking at word building pace 1007, starting on page nine. Estamos viendo el pace, mismo pace como ayer. 1007, empezando en la página 9. So we're starting on page 9. Let's look at the instructions together. So it says right here, page 9, the instruction says write. La instrucción me dice escribir. So I'm going to be practicing my student, right? Um, Axel out there, Sophia out there, you guys are practicing the lowercase letter O and the big letter O in English we would say capital, the capital letter O. Page 9, estamos en la página 10, dice en las instrucciones, write, escribir, write. So this whole page is dedicated to practicing the lowercase O and the uppercase O and also the number 9, which you're working on in your math pace right now too. So, importante que ustedes entiendan que <laughs> en el pace que estoy usando en este video es como ya tengo las respuestas porque es un score key. I already have the answers here because it's a score key. So you're seeing the answers already written in. Están viendo las respuestas ya, escrit ya escritas en, en mi pace. Okay, so that's okay though. That's okay. I just wanted you to know that's why you're seeing, that's why you're seeing all of the answers filled in. So let's go to page 11. Vamos a seguir en la página 11. So it says in the instructions, dice en las instrucciones, color the O sound word pictures. Remember, this O is the O that says O copy. So let's review the different things I see on this page, on page 11. Vamos a repasar las cosas diferentes que yo veo que vemos en esta página, página 11, ¿verdad? So I have boat. The first thing is a boat. When I say boat, I can hear the O sound, like O, B, O, copy. So I'm going to paint, I'm going to color the boat. The boat. Yo voy a pintar mi bote, porque cuando yo digo, cuando yo pronuncio boat, yo puedo escuchar O, como O, B, O, copy. Entonces sí, voy a pintarlo. <clears throat> the next one is house. No. When I say house, no. I don't hear the O sound, so I'm not going to color house. But when I say rope, rope, escucho el sonido del día de O, B, O, copy, O, rope. Y por eso yo voy a pintar el rope. And because of this, I'm going to color the rope because, yes, I hear the O sound when I say rope. The next thing is fire. When I say fire, no, 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 no. I do not hear the O sound, so I will not color fire. But when I say bone and coat and comb, yes, I hear the O sound. Very, very good. Next, I say kite. No, when I say kite, cuando yo pronuncio kite, yo no escucho sonido O y por eso yo no voy a pintar el kite. I'm not going to paint, I'm not going to color the kite because I don't hear the O sound. But when I say, when you say, boys and girls, when you say these words at home, because I want you to be practicing out loud in a loud voice, cuando ustedes pronuncian estas palabras en casa conmigo, yo quiero que uh, las digan en voz alta. I want you to say them in a loud voice. Road. Soap. When I say road and soap, I do hear the O sound. O, road, soap, 
Oh, I hear that. So I should color road, I should color soap. Now, the next two things are a horn and a horse. Now, it may not sound like it, but when I write these words, I do write them with the O sound, like O, B, O, copy. So technically, horn and horse do have the O, B, O, copy sound. O, O. So horn and horse, las dos cosas sí, tienen este sonido nuevo de O, B, O, copy. Por eso los voy a pintar. Las voy a pintar. And for this reason, I'm going to color these. So on this page, this is page 11, I'm coloring, estoy pintando las cosas que tienen el sonido nuevo de OB o copy. I'm, I'm coloring only the things that have the OB o copy sound. Now, on page 12, in la página 12, page 12, at the top it says, read the words, leer las palabras. So your student needs to read these words to you. They are putting the sounds together. They've learned all these sounds. They're putting these sounds together to form words. So estudiante necesita leer estas palabras a ti, por favor, a usted, por favor. Están, ellos han aprendido, ya han aprendido todos los sonidos. Entonces solamente están poniendo los sonidos juntos para formar palabras nuevas. So they're just putting the sounds together to form new words. It does take time. Si requiere tiempo para escuchar a ellos cuando se están formando con sus bocas, con su voz, estas palabras nuevas es un poco diferente para ellos. Now, in the next section, in la próxima sección, dice, write the words. Dice, escribir las palabras. So the students are practicing writing the words. Los estudiantes están practicando su formación de las palabras. They're writing the words. Now, when they're at school with when they're at school with me, it's very important that they write neatly. Para mí es muy importante. Mientras están conmigo en su clase, que están, um, estén formando sus letras con cuidado, arreglándolas muy bien. Escritura muy limpia. Almost done. We're almost there. On page 13, estamos en la página 13. Dice, write. The big letter O and the little letter O under the O sound picture. So dice, vamos a escribir la mayúscula y minúscula y la minúscula abajo, abajo las cosas que tienen sonido de O, O, B, O, copy. So let's review. Repasaremos. Bone. Yes, bone has the O sound, so I write the big letter O and the little one. Coat and boat, same thing. I see the big letter O and the little one. So yes, I'm writing both letters, the big one and the little one, little one, the capital and the lowercase right under. Pig, no. King, no, I don't hear the O sound. But for comb, for horse, and for road, Yes, I hear the O, B, O, copy, O. So I'm going to write the mayúscula and the minúscula. Solamente abajo las letras que tienen este sonido nuevo de O, B, O, copy. So, yo no voy a escribir mis letras abajo todas las cosas. Sobre las cosas que tienen este sonido nuevo especial de O, B, O, copy. I'm only writing my capital letter O and my lowercase letter O under the, the things that have the OBO copy sound, right? Page 14, we're making progress. We're making progress. Again, read the words. Página 14, leer las palabras. De nuevo, los estudiantes necesitan leer las palabras para ustedes y están en sus mentes, están poniendo los sonidos juntos para formar nuevas palabras. So there, the kids have learned all these sounds, remember, so it takes time for them to put the sounds together to form words, and this is what we do at school all day. It's fun. Next, it says, write the words. Proximamente dice, escribir las palabras. So, 
um, they're writing the words again. It's a great opportunity for them to practice good handwriting and also to say the words to themselves, which is what we talk about at school when they're writing the words. Entonces, es buena oportunidad para practicar la formación de las letras una vez más. Y también mientras están escribiendo, cuando estamos en escuela, uh, les estoy diciendo, ok, mientras estamos escribiendo las palabras, vamos a pensar en cómo se pronuncia estas palabras. No solamente es un ejercicio de escribir, también es un ejercicio de practicar la pronunciación de las palabras. We're almost there, everyone. Casi ahí. Dos páginas más. We have two more pages. So next, the kiddos are on page 15. It's another page of reading the words. Dice leer las palabras. Otra página, así como la página anterior. And the second section says write the words. La segunda sección dice escribir las palabras. So van a hacerlo, van a escribir las palabras. And finally, on page 16, we have a test. So a checkup is like a test. Un chequeo es como una prueba pequeña. Now, when the kids are completing this page, they're not supposed to look at the pages before because they're trying to remember what they learned without looking. Now, los estudiantes, mientras están completando esta página, un checkup es como una prueba pequeña. Los estudiantes no deben ver las páginas antes mientras están completando esta página. Necesitan tratar de recordar lo que aprendieron, lo que aprendieron antes, ¿verdad? So that's the purpose, es el propósito. So they're practicing writing the new letters and then they're identifying, it says circle the O sound word pictures. Están encerrando las cosas que tienen sonido O como obvio copy. Very good. And this is all that they have to do today in word building to stay on time, to stay on top of things. So this is all that they have to do to stay on top of their word building every day. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. It was so delightful to be with you today. Gracias por estar aquí conmigo hoy en día. Estoy muy agradecida por su tiempo. And I hope that all of you guys are not too bored while you're at home. So check in with me tomorrow. I'm going to have more exciting word building action for you coming tomorrow on Thursday. Have a wonderful day.